Good evening, everyone. Hopefully this microphone won't go tipping down this way. My name is Kirsten Bowens, and I have the privilege of being principal at OH Anderson. And I want to just thank you for making the time. We know schedules are busy, especially now that we have some uh, spring-like weather. So we appreciate you making the time to be here tonight with us. A real quick housekeeping item. There are a number of other meetings happening uh, this evening at St. Andrews. So we do ask that if you have smaller children with you that they stay with you uh, so we're not disrupting other meetings that may be going on. Well, we know that music can spark the imagination, the creativity in people and in children. And we also know that it can ignite a lifetime of passion. Well, we're fortunate tonight because we are going to see both. We're going to see those sparks of creativity and imagination on the faces of our OHA students as they perform. We're also going to see the lifetime of passion with Mr. Brett Smith. As many of you know, Mr. Smith is retiring at the end of the school year. He has dedicated 33 years to music education and to creating that spark to creating that love of music for thousands of children. And for that and so much more, we are grateful. Mr. Smith. The song Swinging on a Star was introduced by Bing Crosby in 1944. And it finished number 37 in a survey of top movie tunes of all time.
has been accompanied by a winter that seems like it would never end. The cabin fever that many of us feel in Minnesota has us waiting and waiting for warm weather and spring breaking through the ground. The lyrics of this song share this image so very well. The song Catching Falling Star was made famous by Perry Como in 1957. It was Como's last number one hit. Classical music lovers may recognize this melody coming from Brahms' Academic Festival Overture. Thanks for being here. It's not snowing! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Someone reminded me that in 2013, we actually closed school and had a snow day because of snow. Thank goodness it's not today. I feel so, so lucky to share this stage with these guys, to have had a very full and wonderful career in the Matamidi School District. I feel so, so lucky for many, many things. And tonight, I feel so lucky that I get a sh to share the stage with my wife, a fellow music educator, musician, and doesn't she play the piano so beautifully? Mm. So thank you to Jody McCormick. Come on.
The composer of this next song was Stephen Paulus. He is a famous American composer who lived in the St. Paul area and wrote many operas, symphonies, and concertos. These guys get to sing for the Minnesota Twins in September. Isn't that cool? And their director is going to be Mr. Rob Pontius. Who knows Rob? Yeah. So he was the high school choir director for at least 20 years, has been uh, gracing us with great musical experiences at the middle school and Wildwood, and OH is so lucky to have him as their music teacher next year. And I said, would you be willing to proverbial or uh, uh, to pass the baton and to do a number in this concert? And he is gracious enough to conduct a piece. So we pass the baton, Mr. Rob Pontius. There's so many thank yous I want to share. First of all, we're being live streamed. We're on TV right now. Thank you so much, cable access and all that you're doing to make this a reality uh, tonight as well as the dates that are listed in the program and on YouTube as well, which brings up the, the digital musical yearbook DVD we've had in the past. Instead of your buying uh, a yearbook this year, you can buy, no, you can receive for free most of our performances this year on YouTube. So look at our website uh, at OH Anderson under music and you'll see many of these performances available for you to share and to see as well. There are many adults that have a really full plate right now and they came forward and said, how can I help? 
And I really feel indebted to these people. And I'm going to ask them to stand and let's hold our applause, but acknowledge these great people, these great educators, and committing themselves to be a part of this evening. Mrs. Bowens, Mr. Petronic, 53 years of teaching. I was 10 years old when he started teaching. <laughs> Retiring this year. Mrs. Debos, Mrs. Weiber, Mrs. Anderson, Mrs. Lewis, Mrs. Warner, a big thank you to all these people. Thank you so much. These instruments did not walk themselves here. Thank you so much, Jill Wiebe, Sarah Bromeland, for helping out, and their, their uh, children as well, for helping out on the way here Af afterwards. We're going to need some help getting it back, and I'll talk about that fifth grade when that time comes. Uh, Lisa Horsager is going to be spearheading that. Thank you, Lisa. Um, so we'll talk about that moving things back at that time. Karen Carlson, where are you? Wave. Karen, thank you for being here. She stepped aside to be here in case of any emergency, and she's got a full plate of other things to do. We're really glad you've helped out. Give her a hand. So we'll just have a changing of the guard after this piece. Our fourth graders are going to really want to hear what the fifth graders have up their sleeve in just a bit. Uh, enjoy this next tune. You ready? Do Re Mi comes from the 1959 musical The Sound of Music. Using the solfeg syllables, this song encapsulates those teachable moments in the music classroom.
fifth grade choir stand. Bravo. Okay. Gracie, you're the edge, right? So let's see if we can make this just trade places. So Josie, you're going to go over by Mrs. Anderson. Okay, you're gonna, uh, and you're going to follow this way. Gracie, come this way. Here we go. Welcome to this evening's concert. We are singing with joy as we reflect on our year, singing at the Twins game in, the, in September, working with J.D. Steele in the fall, and putting together this Best Picks concert for you tonight. Tori is a Japanese folk song like many that singings of the beauty of nature in the springtime.
understand. Show me that curve, please. I was in my first concert of any kind when I was in fifth grade. And it was fifth grade band, and it was magic. And I was playing percussion, and we got together and we played in the gymnasium at our school, and it was a magical night. And the person who led that created magic for so many years. And it was so inspiring that I thought, I can't quit doing this. It's so much fun. Kay, can you wave? Kay Holly? So would you stand up, Kay? This is my middle school band director, Kay Holly. We stand on the shoulders of giants. We stand on the shoulders of giants. She was also my high school jazz band director. And as I looked at being a music teacher, and I was in college, and I had so many questions, she welcomed me back into her classroom to see what the realities were. And to answer all the questions that were never ending from this person. And this mentorship grew into a friendship. And I feel so lucky to have you here tonight. And I feel honored to have your presence here and know that you've not touched the lives of only those that have been your students, but everyone here as well. Thank you, Kay. This next song is in three parts and a capella, which means without accompaniment. When we practice this song in the music room, we stand in a circle, which gives us that chance to hear all the parts and enjoy the harmony.
The cover says favorites. I picked my all-time favorites. These next two typify that. They're goosebump songs for me, and for some of these kids, it's a goosebump moment as well. Enjoy. This next song's lyrics come from the Jewish morality laws that translate the world. The world is sustained by three things: by truth, by justice, and by peace. Before we do this last tune, uh, some help from you would be greatly appreciated. I have a gray, silver GMC truck. It's not the bike, all right? It's the truck. So um, all of this stuff needs to be uh, brought into that truck, and the World Music Ensemble will help in that process, bringing it over. Um, but if any parents that can help on the other end uh, or helping uh, those folks get it lined up and into that truck would be a great thing and back into the space. Thank you so much for being here. It's a wonderful evening to share together. I really, really wish that Mr. Smith could stay one more year so I could have him as a fifth grade choir director. Even though I know Mr. Pontius will be a great teacher, I will miss him a lot. Mr. Smith, I love how you don't just play the notes or sing the notes, you feel the song. On behalf of all of the students, 
all of the years. We thank you for being a great music teacher. This American spiritual is nine-eighths time, giving it a wonderful rhythmic drive. The lyric of this song is a metaphor of the lighthouse shining the way. We hope that as we transition to middle school next year that our path will be well lit with a bright future. So, there are other meetings going on in this space, and everything you can do to help make sure that this is a...